Okay guys, so I just had an awesome lasagna and I need to scrape this up. I hate wasting food. Even if I'm full, I hate wasting food. It's a pet peeve of mine. So, um, probably because I heard growing up there's people starving in other countries, right? I try not to, like, just try not to take too much in the first place, right? But this is how it came. So, um... I'm calling other resources, I'm calling pregnancy centers, and definitely there are some amazing things going on. Um, one pregnancy center offers childbirth classes all the way up, which is amazing. Birth until birth, um, conception until birth, counseling, etc. So I just had someone on my channel, which I did appreciate what she said about this. She said, why aren't we helping girls before? And I'm kind of on the same page already with that. Why aren't we helping before something happens? And I said, it's all in the relationship, right? How do you handle a guy alone when you're alone with him? It's easy to be like, oh, you know what? Um, I don't want to be with you anymore. This is something that happened to me. I, I'm trying to think of how I said it. I think um, this is my boyfriend that I had for about a year, my first boyfriend. And we were up at the Weirs Beach in Laconia um, Beach. I, I grew up in um, Weirs Beach in Laconia. I was always there with my mother and my aunt Brenda. And my brother and I would swim in the lake for like the whole day. I mean, it was like, sometimes it was like almost every day for the whole day. Um, but my mother had to get back for my dad and get him dinner on the table and, and uh, be there for him, right? So back in the day, that's how it was. So we, we were, you know, we would put on coconut oil and get tanned. And, you know, we always had like either my cousins with me or something. So this was after I learned how to swim in Northwood Lake. So I was a really good swimmer. And, um, <clears throat> and so when I was with my boyfriend, those same paths that I always took all my life were already there, right? He was from Pittsfield, and I just saw somebody um, in the news who was from, um, what was it, Catamount Road in Pittsfield? I'm like, oh my goodness, I know, I know that road, right? He was in the news for something. So, um, so just today, another memory, just something so small as where my boyfriend lived came up and hit me again. So when we were together at Mirror's Beach, we were parking, which, you know, that's the way it was. We were, we were parking and, you know, my family knew I was alone with him and they knew what was going on. So I was kind of on my own. I mean, I had my girlfriends tell me about guys. My grandmother said all men are the same. They only want one thing. And there wasn't a lot with relationships except trying to make the man happy or something, right? So I kind of had that ingrained in me to make a man happy, I think, from my mother who, um, you know, helped my father. You know, I used to take off my father's boots when he came home from construction um, and help her clean the home for him and help her, you know, you know, do stuff and cook, and I didn't really cook, I, I didn't like cooking, but I helped her, um, and my mother, you know, I mean, we are, we, women and men are made for one another, so I would help her, and, um, sometimes you can just be too nice of a girl, I, I was brought up to be nice, don't talk back, don't say certain things, don't, 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 right? Instead of do, it's don't, don't, and all these rules. Um, I don't think it was meant to be that way, but without the relationship of being really strong, it's, it's just rules instead of relationship. So, um, he, um, I tried to break up with him. I, I, I think I just blurted out something like, I don't want to be with you anymore, or I want to break up or something. And me and my girlfriends were already like, oh, he's kind of geeky. You know, he was a tall basketball player, and he had like this huge Adam's apple. And he was pretty popular with the basketball in Pittsfield. And I was a cheerleader um, in middle school, but I wasn't cheerleading then. And I would go to his games with him, 
and we hung out and he gave me his class ring and I thought it was pretty serious. I thought I thought that's it. I didn't I didn't really think there would be anyone else. And then um, when I was working with him at a restaurant, there was another guy that I think it was my girlhood emotion that I just outgrew the nice guy. And now here's this bad boy. And without even understanding this, right? You don't even understand it. You're just like, oh, that guy is cute and he liked me a lot. For some reason, he liked me. I don't know why, but he did. So, um, so I, they were like, oh yeah, he's cool. My friends, right? My friends were my, they were like, they were my peers. They were the ones that I got advice from. I didn't have advice from my, my mother. It was mostly my friends. So, um, that's a mistake right there, right? When you don't have your mother guiding you. So, all kinds of stuff you hear. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about some funny things. But anyways, um, so I was, you know, I wanted to go out with him. And I wasn't taught that it's wrong to, you know, not really. My dad said once, wait until you're married. And it was just a discussion my mom and him had that, like, you're, you're too old-fashioned. They, they had like this argument of he's too old fashioned because he didn't want me to shave he didn't want me to wear makeup and I couldn't do anything my girlfriends were doing I couldn't stay at a dance every time I went to a dance my mother came and got me early and all my friends would be like why does she have to leave early so um, so dating him I wanted to date him so I tried to break up with this guy and um, when he was crying I doubted myself and that is where I kick myself sometimes but I was a kid I mean I was young I didn't know and you a girl does not know like how to discern all the ins and outs of something sometimes it is very easy to trick a girl when she's young um, especially if she's a nice girl she doesn't want to be mean she doesn't want to say no she doesn't want to make you cry so um when i asked him i figured okay i'll just stay with him and forget forget me forget this guy i like just forget the whole thing i'll stay with this guy and that was the plan and uh so he um he had this condo and um said it was safe he said you know oh I said that looks kind of the package looks a little like um you know wrinkled and he's like no it's safe it's safe and so I trusted him and that was a big mistake right there that I went against my gut again and I trusted him um but you know when you're young and naive you don't know so as soon as yeah, that happened, it broke, and um, that was shocking in of itself that it broke because you're told like they're 99%, whatever, um, safe proof. So I was just like, take me home. You know, the end, I trusted him, and this happened. I felt like he tricked me is kind of what I felt like because he didn't want me to break up with him. And at the time, I felt like I was still kind of like doubting myself but I felt like he was going to make it a sure thing that he was going to be with me um so just the scare of that just the scare that I could be pregnant which pregnant meant to me at that time being fat right you don't want to be fat I had an aunt that was like a model she looked like a model and she was my role model and every day it was not every day but like every time I saw her, it was counting calories. She was skinny. She was a beautiful woman. She could wear anything. Uh, she could turn any head. Beautiful woman. And um, she was my role model. And so um, when we would go out shopping with my mother and my, my aunts and I would go out shopping, it was, oh, look at that lady. Look at her. 
you know, look at look at her butt. She's got a big butt. Or look at her. Look at her legs. Look at this. Look at that. So very critical. So that fear of condemnation. You know, you don't want to be fat because you're going to be made fun of. Also, growing up. I mean, not now. I mean, now is totally different. But growing up, the standard I had was the supermodels, right? Cindy Crawford, uh, Christy uh, Brinkley. Um, all those so that was my standard and I knew you know I just didn't want to be like so fat so we used to see like when we went to the bow and arrow shoots too I mean like some of the women just did not take care of themselves and I was taught you take care of yourself right you care about your hair you care about you know not getting too big so anyways um you know, it's very freeing when you're pregnant, actually, and you do gain weight because it really doesn't matter. It's very freeing, and um, so that was kind of the deal. So, what I want to finish up with because I've got to get going soon is um, basically when you have a situation like this, you want to get to the girls and get in there with the relationships. That's what you want. You want to have, um, if not a mother girls need somebody to talk to so that they can know how to navigate more. And that's what I got, guys.